up here. Look up here. Oh, okay. <gasps> and, um... Hey guys, it's Rachel Lauren, and I don't know what that was, but uh, today is a update. Well, actually, it's the first video of my Epiduo journey, I guess you could say. I've had really bad acne this summer. I'll insert before pictures. So, today is my fifth day on Epiduo. And I've noticed some zits have gone down, and my redness has gone down, but I've also noticed that I had to stop using my moisturizer that I would use with this, because your fourth or fifth day you'll start getting really, really dry. I started getting really dry right here, and the moisturizer that I was using, moisturizer that I was using was the Clean and Clear Morning Burst, but when you combine these two together, it burns your skin. There's something probably in this one that doesn't go well with this one. So, instead of using this one, I've started using my Pond one. Uh, and I, it doesn't feel anything. I just put it on and it does its job. Today is my second day wearing makeup with the Epiduo. And I haven't noticed that it really gets worse with makeup, so I think your Arcadia will wear makeup with it. So I'll enter an after picture after like five days. We'll be right here. And I really like how this is going. I wish it could be a little less stingy when I put on my moisturizer because like I don't want dry skin with this. But when I try to put that moisturizer on, it didn't work, so I just switched to a new one. So, the reason I used Epiduo instead of, like, Accutane was because my zits weren't that bad. Because I think Accutane is mainly used for cystic acne. And the reason I didn't use Clearasil is because Clearasil could not cover my zits. And I've already tried Proactive, and someone suggested trying X out. But X out is the same thing. It's, like, from the same makers of Proactive, so I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff. So, that's why I didn't do that one. So the way to get Epiduo um, is you go to your dermatologist and if you have insurance you can pay no more than $25. But if you don't really feel like going to your dermatologist you can find it on eBay. They are more expensive on there of course because everything on eBay is more expensive. But you can get a good amount of this. So till next time.